Ah, YouTube. It feels like whenever things are calming down, YouTube is there to cause some trouble once again. From canceling 2020's Rewind to putting ads on everyone's content, even if you aren't a partner, I can say that this site is never stale. However, beneath the site's surface, an online cult has laid its foundation on this site for the past several years, and they've been growing at an alarming rate. Today, we're going down the strange rabbit hole that is blood over intent. On the 23rd of February, 2020, a user posted on r slash internet mysteries about a cult taking place on YouTube. The user, Grog2002, states that he encountered two channels that created very weird videos and would frequently use the word blood in the comments. At first, Grog2002 guessed that it's either a bunch of edgelords that haven't grown out of the hell satan phase, or even a cult. As it later turned out, this was very much the latter. Edit. Apparently, it is a cult. A new age one at that. And they do these so-called blood over intent videos. We need to dive deeper into this rabbit hole. After some investigation, a surprisingly large list of channels believed to be a part of this cult was compiled. Just a heads up, from this point forward, I will be playing some of their videos, which involve people spilling drops of their own blood. To some, it may be disturbing, so viewer discretion is advised. With that out of the way, let's take a look. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all and release us all from bondage. All of these videos showcase a person smearing their blood onto a piece of paper with a prepared statement. The text slightly varies from person to person, but they typically say something along the lines of, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and release everyone from bondage. And as previously stated, the comments are full of people saying blood thick or blood family or something similar. And you might be thinking that this is a niche, small little cult. But what's weird is that if you search blood over intent on YouTube and sort by upload date, you'll see that there are videos being uploaded by the hour of people participating in this ritual. She's 
starts bleeding, she writes her divine intent on a piece of paper in the car. <laughs> Look at that. And yeah, she's using her spiritual currency to bring forth heaven on earth. So, what is blood over intent? What's their purpose? Well, after scouring through tons of videos, Reddit threads, and one Gizmodo article, I think I can try to make sense of it all. Essentially, these people have taken the ancient idea of blood magic and adapted it for the modern era. Supposedly, blood is a very powerful and personal tool used in occultism. That's what's going on here. However, practitioners of blood over intent are a bit different. As the Gizmodo article puts it, in a nutshell, those who practice the ritual believe they develop spiritual powers and changes in perception that grow over time as they shake off the false reality in which we are all supposedly imprisoned. It is a proof of life in the community's parlance, letting the powers that be know you're there and allowing you to enter their graces. Spilling blood, a practice rooted in the ancient occult, is no more important than the witnessing which takes place online, on YouTube, for the eyes of fellow practitioners, and in front of anyone who happens to click. So yeah, these people think that they see the world for what it truly is, that they're free of the reality that the rest of us are supposedly trapped in. This is actually a pretty common belief for people who are neck deep into conspiracy theories. And I like a good theory here and there, but these guys have gone off the deep end. How do I know? Well, a lot of Blood Over Intent channels are also flat earthers. I stay with Blood Over Intent because I see, you know, I asked all these questions. For the most part, beginning with the shape of the earth and the evidence that I came up with, you know, there's no evidence of the ball earth. You know, there's evidence of a flat earth. I mean, you could make up the evidence of a ball earth. Yes, you can make that up and make it seem like that. But if you go out here and you are observing and knowing what's going on, you can just know that the earth isn't a ball. And so then that leads you down that path of those questions. And it led me to blood over intent. Believers of reptilian shapeshifters and apparently worshippers of Satan. But we'll get to that later on. You know, Satan is a good guy. Gave up gallons of blood to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all people. And I'm blood thick with Satan. I recommend you uh, look into this topic, blood over intent. Somehow these people have gone together to form this cult. And it's been growing for the past few years. But blood over intent takes it one step further. Some members feel as though it is their duty to use blood magic to free the rest of us. So they write their intent and sign it with their blood. And once your video is uploaded, it serves as an initiation to the cult. As like proof that you are enlightened enough to reach blood over intent which explains all the comments seemingly congratulating the uploader. And yeah, uploading a video is a part of the ritual. Recording yourself dropping blood onto your divine message isn't enough. You must also post it to YouTube. Okay, so that's one part of the ritual, but what about the reverse audio? Heal that. Nowhere in the articles, reddit threads, or even videos attempting to explain this cult does it ever explain why they do this. They just do and it's kind of weird. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and ask one of the members of this cult. Thankfully she was very open and answered my questions relatively quickly. According to her, reverse speech is a way of revealing what is occurring in human speech in the unconscious mind. David Oates is known for his work in reverse speech and shows how by recording and reversing speech reveals the truth. The truth is in reverse. 
This is partially true. David Oates is a real person who was the founder of reverse speech. Supposedly, the idea is that by reversing someone's audio, you can find hidden messages to decipher what they're really saying. However, this is obviously far from the truth, and Oates' pseudoscience is rejected by the scientific community. It's pretty easy to make words out of someone's reverse gibberish and loosely make it relevant. But for some reason, members of Blood Over Intent have latched onto Oates' claims and use it in their videos. Since this Reddit thread has gained attention, online detectives were able to uncover common themes within this cult. Let's go through them, one at a time. Different variations of the number 144, or 144,000, are seen in many videos by members of Blood Over Intent. I love you, my brothers and my sisters. Blood over intense, where it's at. Check it out. You know, uh, do YouTube search blood over intent. Spill your blood beside ours and become part of the 144,000 that is going to leave this matrix. As it turns out, 144,000 has quite a bit of significance in religions, so much so that it has its own convenient Wikipedia page. For example, Jehovah's Witnesses believe that exactly 144,000 Christians will be chosen to live in heaven for eternity. And New Age movements like the Unification Church or the Church of the Subgenius also utilize this number. In terms of blood over intent, it's more or less the same. In the Gizmodo article, cult member Mark Braun states that by posting a video of yourself performing the ritual, you open yourself up to the Book of Life in which only 144,000 names are written. Post blood and join his 144,000, he said, or be dead walking, asleep, doomed to a hellish cycle of pointless suffering. Blood up or shut up, said Braun. I asked why 144,000 in the comments of one of their videos and got this response. There are 144,000 names in the book of life. You need to show your creator proof of life to place your name in the book of life. Blood over intent is proof of life. This kind of belief is very common within cults. The members are disillusioned to think that performing this specific action is the only way to achieve some sort of greater goal. However, their actions are nonsensical. Like, I really doubt any magical book or deity cares about whether or not a video is uploaded to YouTube. It's very reminiscent of Heaven's Gate, except instead of mass suicide, it's smearing blood onto a piece of paper, uploading it, and then escaping our fake world. For whatever reason, a ton of these blood over intense videos seem to reference a woman named Mary Barnes. Some videos even praise her, as if she's a god that the cult worships. Googling her name doesn't do much help. However, there is a channel involved in the cult called Mary Barnes Makovich. We intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. We intend to release all from the bondage of time and money, safe passage into the Garden of Eden, and forgiveness for our filthy souls. For Mr. Satan, Mr. Satan and the 144,000 Hellblazers, you know what? We're grateful for you. She seems to upload daily about blood over intent, her paintings, her ramblings, and so on. I can only assume she's an older, more well-known member of the group, although she's only been posting videos since 2018. However, considering her growing catalog of over a thousand videos, I imagine most members know her. The real star of the show is our next person of interest, Quasi Luminous. In some of the videos I've watched, one name seems to be mentioned every now and then. The so called leader or founder of Blood Over Intent, a man named Mark Braun, also known as Quasi Luminous. However, he believes himself to be literally Satan. I can see where the Holy Grail is, and what I've done is I've proclaimed outwardly to the world that 
this fucking world is mine, that I am Satan, the Antichrist, the Prince of Darkness himself, and uh, that I have the Holy Spirit. And I proclaimed at really the world that this place is mine and nobody has to like it. So what I've noticed is that when I spill my blood over my intent, I did it the, the one time that I published it to the ethernet. And then you see, I started making videos where I, I could start seeing and I started pointing out that Jesus is the son and that I am the antichrist himself. Now, and what's even worse is that so do his followers. I made a discovery with the reverse speech. And like Satan says, he, is, he has many names. And he also goes by quasi-luminous. And he's back, which is awesome. There's not much else I could find on Mark, other than a failed AMA on the occult subreddit, some 4chan threads, one of which mentions that they believed April 14th to be a spiritual event, and several online arrest records. This one from 2010 showed that Mark was engaged with second-degree petty theft, carrying some type of concealed weapon, possession of drugs like meth, and others. Amazingly, his followers, or at least one, can be seen in the comments. And if you're curious about that Reddit post, it turns out that Mark got into an altercation with police and paramedics back in 2012. Unfortunately, the video of the event has been removed by YouTube, but a helpful comment from someone claiming to be involved explains the whole ordeal. It's very long, but it does tell us a bit more about this mysterious coal leader. Basically, Mark was already a regular in his Florida police community, known for being mentally ill, involved with drugs, and abusive to his then wife. During this incident, he called 911 and would only say, send an ambulance, claiming that he was attacked by his neighbor. Yet, he was very uncooperative, had no signs of injury, and was clearly on drugs, according to the officers. He was so erratic and hysterical that the officers ended up handcuffing him and loading him onto a stretcher. After being sent to the hospital, he underwent surgery on his chest or stomach, though the OP admits that he has no idea why this happened. Sometime after being released from the hospital, Mark started claiming that he was being stalked and threatened by the police. He then uploaded a video on his old YouTube channel called How to Kill Yourself, where he states that his wife and child fled the country because of this supposed police harassment despite them already being separated for one to two years at that point. Someone sees the video, calls the police, and due to the suicide threat and previous knowledge of Mark owning a handgun, police subdue and take him to a mental health hospital. If it wasn't obvious by now, Mark isn't all there, and hasn't been for the past decade, likely more so. I'm not sure if I should feel creeped out or just sad at this point. I have no idea how he started this cult, but he clearly isn't somebody worth listening to and needs help rather than being on YouTube. Now, there is one last person of interest I'd like to go over before closing things off. As stated earlier, Quasi Luminous is the man behind this cult, and he has for the most part kept it online. But there was apparently one other leader of the cult who was second in command. A man going by the name of Devin Madge, who runs a channel called Flat Earth Paradise. So why is he worth mentioning? In the post on the cult's subreddit, a user known as Orb Switzer writes about how Devin is now starting a real life cult. He states, I've been following Blood Over Intent for years and feel something significant just happened. If you don't know what that is, it's a subset of the Flat Earth community that got into a form of blood magic that, as of now, seems to have almost lost its steam, along with the larger FE community. They would write their divine intent to bring heaven on earth on paper, then cut themselves and post a video of themselves spreading their blood over it. As has been noted, it was apparently started by the truly psychotic Mark Braun or Quasi Luminous, now usually going by Saturn or Satan on YouTube where he disappears and reappears frequently. But there have been other clear leaders among them. One is Devin Madge, now Flat Earth Paradise on YouTube. I could go on forever about this guy, but here's the gist. Unlike Quasi Luminous, 
He comes off as intelligent and charismatic. For a long time, he posted about blood over intent and random new agey nonsense. But he made very high quality videos and, before long, had tens of thousands of subs. Notable things he's done. Had a big falling out with Quasi Luminous and basically became the movement's biggest voice. Planned, raised money for, and ultimately abandoned the SEAL project in which he aimed to travel to the North Pole to prove there's a giant hole there leading to the Garden of Eden. Largely abandoned blood over intent topics, becoming more focused on bizarre new age crap. Traveled the country mooching off his supporters, including a weeks long road trip he called the Rite of Remembrance. Announced he is a reincarnation of Hermes slash Thoth, messenger of the gods, and could manipulate matter at will. Made predictions about vague yet supposedly cataclysmic events. So it appears as though this Devon guy had quite the history with blood over intent. But now he spun off and started his own thing, creating a sanctuary somewhere in Oregon, where all paranormal stuff happens. I'm not sure if this spin-off cult has anything to do with blood over intent, as the post stated he became disassociated with them. For now though, it would seem as though we might be witnessing the rise of a cult right before our eyes. If this was a small underground group on YouTube doing weird things, I might have ignored it. After all, there's honestly a lot of weird stuff on the site. But the frequent amount of uploads from everyday normal people is genuinely concerning. And when you factor in that some of them involve their family, their children, it's a little unsettling. From their nonsensical ramblings and beliefs, to their founder literally believing himself to be Satan, this is a blood cult that lives on YouTube. And frankly, I don't think it should. Thankfully, a lot of videos and channels have been deleted since this thread got popular. So stay safe, everyone. Happy holidays and good night.